What's up guys, this is Olimers, watch this video in 1080p, I upload videos daily, so you should come check out my channel. Today I'm driving a Mustang, probably 2014, maybe younger, I don't know why I said younger, but earlier. If you guys remember how I said I was changing a lot of things in my room, not like my room, well, okay, so my, the room I'm in right now, it's like a living room, but the room I sleep in is my bedroom, so I'm in my living room right now with my setup. And my favorite color is blue, so I thought I'd go for a blue theme, right? So I got this new mouse the other day. It can change colors between a few colors. And I set it to blue, because blue is my favorite color. Then my dad, he had this light bulb in his basement. And it, he just got it. And I thought it was pretty cool, because you could change colors. You could, like, have it on strobe, so... You just have different, ton of different colors and stuff, and... You can change how bright it is. It's only 5 watts, but it's really bright for 5 watts. It can light this whole entire room. And I decided to put it on blue. And now this room looks a lot different and a lot better. I don't even know why I told you that, guys. But you'll see it in my gaming setup. Pretty sure that blue is like the most common favorite color for people. Tell me your guys' favorite colors in the comments below. Because I'm kind of interested to see what you guys have for your favorite color. I mean, I'm the only one in my family, in my primary family, that favorite color is blue. I don't know why, but like, before my favorite color was yellow, I don't know why it changes. It's kind of weird. I've just, just been driving around in this Mustang. I really like the sound of it. Here, I'm gonna let you guys listen a little bit. Okay, guys, so look at this. So, you can see from third person, I have those I don't even know what they're called. I used to know, but I forgot. So, you see I have them, right? Drop down into first-person view. Look backwards, and apparently they're gone now. Ah, shoot. So if you're making something, guys, no matter what it is, always focus on the little things, because big things don't really happen too often. And you pay more attention to the little things. Like, this game, it just think of how much worse it seems now. Actually, it probably doesn't seem much worse at all, but... Just a little error that they had that they didn't put in. Like, for all the muscle cars, the dashboard's the exact same. Get away, Simeon. Dashboard's the exact same, and kind of makes the game look a little worse. Makes me not really care about going in first person as much. If you guys want a link to the light bulb, just check the description. I'll see if I can get it and put it there. There's also this one website that I've figured out, and it can save you guys some money. It's called camelcamelcamel.com. And it shows you if you put in a link from Amazon, if you put in an Amazon link for something you want, and you put it in, it'll have like a graph of how much it was. And then you can set it so if it goes down to a certain price, it can like tweet you or email you. And that's what I did with some gloves, some mechanics gloves, and then something else. I can't remember what it was, but I think it's a cool website and it can save you some money. If you guys don't know, my Twitter is always in the description below, so you can go down there and tweet at me follow me i'll respond to your tweets most likely instantly because i have it so there's notification so if you message me then i'll get it right away and respond to you actually in my old intro i used to always say to check the description for my twitter but now i just don't anymore because i don't really care about it well i do care i just i don't check it as much anymore but if i get a notification i'll check it i don't even understand why my blue yeti or i wish i had blue yeti my blue snowball, I got it lime green when I like blue. I just like the look of this lime green, but now it makes my room look really weird. Ah! I don't think this guy likes me doing burnouts. Is he coming over to talk to me? He's just standing over there and just walked here. Okay, now he's just walking away for absolutely no reason. Oh, I was just about to let go. I always forget to put bulletproof. Well, I don't really forget, just I don't really have a need to. Obviously, in all my sports vehicles, I have uh, bulletproof tires because if I ever want to drift a vehicle, I want to make sure I have the opportunity without having to buy a completely new one. Probably wondering why I'm in an airport with an airplane right in front of me. Well, I'm going to go flying a little bit because I realize I don't really fly too much. And there's some people that like flying. It's kind of fun just to go through obstacles until you crash and burn to death. If you don't know, this thing's like the fastest fastest accelerating vehicle in the game and oh shoot I'm actually a pretty good flyer let's see 
I'm probably gonna crash into a building if I <laughs> go under there. Or not a building, like anything really. All right, we're gonna do this, guys. I remember one episode I was trying to do this and flying low, and then I just completely failed. Oh, oh, ninja! Running between these buildings. Whoa! Oh. All right, guys, we're gonna make it under this bridge. <laughs> no, actually, we're going under this one and this one. I'm just gonna keep going until I crash. You got ready, guys? Let's see. Where's the narrowest one? I need to find more narrow because this is kind of easy. Easy. Oh! Ah, pipeline! <gasps> oh! Guys, did you see that? I lived! Oh my gosh, that was epic. Now how am I going to get out of here? I got to walk to a flipping road. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed that flying. That was pretty fun for me. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you deserve it. See you next time.